And here we go. Hi guys, greetings from uh, greetings from Dubai. Marco from Huawei blog. And we're here with a new Huawei Pura 70 series. As you know, Huawei showed up this new device globally a few days ago. And um, as you also know, it's uh, still without pre-installed Google mobile services. But it's possible to get back Google mobile uh, services with a micro G alternative to your device. So you can use all your Google apps and uh, services um, yeah, as usual. How it works, we will show you in this video guide. Let's go. As you see, we have a brand new Huawei Pura 70 Ultra here. It's uh, resetted and uh, I show you in five little steps uh, how to install MicroG as an alternative for your Google mobile services. First, go to settings, um, apps and services, apps, and locate your Huawei browser. You have to set up all the permissions Currencies permissions. And also it's important to have uh, right system settings to set to yes. Next, go back to the to the settings and uh, also apps and services and check out if um, the browser is set as your default browser app and last one also settings go to security scroll down to more settings and check install apps from external sources check your browser app and set this to allow install apps you can enable the checkup of apps and that's it step one completed let's go on with step two start your huawei browser and go to microg.org web page thank you there you can get more information about the project and here in the menu you can choose download you will find the latest downloads date by uh, 28th of uh, March this year and from the three downloads at the top you just download services framework props proxy start the download and that's important directly install inside your browser application don't store it on your device and install it later directly install from your browser and down Next, go to alternative downloads. Here you'll find two files with the ending HW. Also download these two files, same way as before. Go to download and install the downloaded files directly from inside your browser. If the installation uh, was successful uh, with a signature spoofing, you can check up. If there's no app symbol of uh, one of the installed apps, the signature spoofing should be available and we can go on with the next step. Step number three, we go to settings, apps and services, apps, and check out for micro G. We already got it here. We open the micro G services and here you have to grant all the permissions. Important for um, location access, you have to allow all the time.
also scroll down and uh, check draw over other apps and allow this next one you go open by default and you find here unverified links tap this and add the app.goo.gl check and when go back you see here a one at unverified links so we go back and you find here the internal settings of micro g services tap sys and first do the self check all these fields have to check up so the service with signature spoofing will work and next you can set up your google account if you want to use more than one google account on your phone you have to set up all these account at this step it's not possible to add any google accounts later also strip device name for authentication deactivate this setting to avoid possible errors when contacting the google server and now add your google account by signing in if you use a two-step verification, it's not a problem, just um, confirm on your other device and you can sign in to your Google account and you see you are logged in with your Google account. Next, go back to uh, settings, apps and services, apps. You find a menu on the top right corner and you choose special access and then here unrestricted data access so in the search just type micro g and you find the three installed apps check all these three for unrestricted data access and that's it you can go back start launch manager also look for micro g and here deactivate manage automatically and just press ok that's it finally in step three open the huawei browser again go to doodlegoogle.com and choose sign in on the top right corner and as you know as usual log in with your google account after refreshing your site you can see you are signed in with your google account and that's it step three completed step number four because we are missing the Google Play Store, we have to look out for an alternative. Uh, we use the uh, Aurora client, uh, who is also using the official um, Google Play Store database. Just go there by this client. Check out at auroraoss.com the downloads and for releases currently version 4.4.4 is the latest. Just download and install this one before starting the app go to settings apps and services apps look out for the aurora store and grant the permissions for file management and also go to open by default unverified links add and add the old one the market and also the current one play store optionally you can also choose amazon for these apps after this you find here the two or maybe if you choose uh, also amazon the three
and that's it. Finally, we have to allow Aurora to uh, access uh, the files, uh, to install files. So we go to um, settings, uh, security, and install apps from uh, external sources. And here we find Aurora Store. Just check this to allow Aurora installing apps. And that's it. Now we can start Aurora Store. And I guide you to the installation process. Leave this at Session Installer. Go to Next. We already enabled the app links. Grant uh, the or, or disable the battery optimization. All other rights are already granted, and you can log in in your Google account. No. After logging in with your Google account. In Aurora, go to Updates and there we'll find the Google Play services on the top. Long press this and add this entry to the blacklist because we don't use uh, official Google Play services, so we don't can't update these and after refreshing it's gone. Next, don't do the updates shown up, look out for Android system a web view and install it. If there's no uh, Android system web view shown up you can use the beta I recommend this and press install. Now it's not just uh, the Android system web view who is downloaded and installed it's also the trichrome library which will show up first. This is correct in this way. Um, so you don't have to be uh, any um, uh, avoidness or whatever. It's okay to download and install also the Trichrome library. As I mentioned before, first um, automatically the Trichrome library uh, update will show up and you have to install. And uh, right after you press install, you find the system uh, web view. Just install this but don't open it because uh, first we will set up this app so we go to settings apps and services um, to the launch manager and check out for Android system web view deactivate the uh, manage automatically so it can uh, auto launch and uh, also run in the background. Also, when going back to um, settings main page, go to task manager by swiping and holding up and just short swipe down. So you can see the lock symbol over there. And that's it. Now you can use Aurora as your alternative client for Google Play Store and look up for apps and update your apps as you do it with the Google Play Store. If you want to uh, sync your Google contacts uh, with your Google account, you have to do a uh, step five, download and install the Google contact sync app. I will link it uh, down um, under the video. Just uh, install this app, Google contact sync. Yes, allow, install, and that's it. You have to look in the settings, apps and services, apps, look out for the Google Contacts Sync app, and allow access to your Google Contacts. And finally, you can check up under user and accounts, Google, your account, and allow sync contacts and as you see syncing is in progress and uh, if you use uh, official uh, google contacts app all your contacts will shown up after the sync so after just a few minutes uh, you have all your google backs google apps back and uh, can use them uh, as you normally do it 
Uh, for example, if you open, open uh, Google Chrome, you see you can log in to your account and um, all your searches are synchronized if you set this up in uh, your Chrome browser. Also, you can use uh, YouTube with uh, logged in to your account by starting it and choosing your account. Here you can see different uh, from our blogs. And also with uh, Google Maps, for example, the location service will work. And here you see shown up our current position for the Huawei product launch in uh, Dubai. And that's it. Google is back on your Pura 17 device. So we got great hardware, uh, as we know, from uh, Huawei and also get all our Google apps and services back. Uh, nearly all, because it's uh, still not possible to use Android Auto and also Google Wallet and Google Pay. And we don't know why also Pokemon Go, uh, if you use it, if you play it, won't work. All the other apps, also online banking, uh, payment uh, by NFC with, uh, with other apps will work. We use it uh, now for months and years with MicroG services. If you have any questions about the installation process, um, just ask. Put a comment under the video, use our blog or also our Huawei community at Facebook. It's a uh, German and English language. Feel free to get in contact with nearly 30,000 uh, Huawei users and get some tips and tricks and answers for all your questions. So, thanks for watching and uh, enjoy your Pura 70 with Google services. Thanks. Goodbye from Dubai. Marco from Huawei Block.